In my line of work, I get a lot of last minute requests to create visually stimulating slides in a short amount of time. This forces me to be creative and find ways to do things solely in PowerPoint or Keynote since I don't have time to jump back and forth between Photoshop and Illustrator. So let me show you a exercise here um, on how to create a kind of visually stimulating post, uh, Twitter post animating um, in some elements and promoting a contest. So let's take a look. We have our signature of our basketball player, John Wall, his name, and a Twitter post coming here with some animated text promoting the contest. Let me show you how I created that in uh, just a few steps. So the first thing we wanna do is bring in a nice high-res photo of John Wall. This is perfect, has a nice background. I'm just trying to get it to the center here. Let's see, let's get it right. This is perfect. Place them just like that. <clears throat> the next thing I want to do, I already have the signature and his name over here. Let's bring that to the front. Okay, and we want to bring in a screenshot I had found uh, of a Twitter post. So to add a little visual depth, let me place this kind of over our basketball player. To add some depth, I'm going to bring him to the front. And what I'm going to do is use our Instant Alpha tool to remove the background. And look at this now. Now we can place this post behind him and do some really cool things. So to make a nice canvas for our type, I'm making a white box. Placing it over our Twitter feed. I'm going to group it. Bring John Wall back to the front. We have this text, which I need to bring to the front as well. And let's make the post just a tad bit bigger so this text fits. Perfect. Now we have all our elements in. Oh, let's move this Adidas logo to the front. Now all we need to do is animate our basketball player. And one of the cool ways I found to animate him, I was like, oh, let's make it look like they're taking pictures of him. So we're using uh, the obscure flash bulb animation. Look at that. Using that, I'll make it a little bit longer too. Kind of make the entrance a little bit more dynamic. And then we're going to animate the feed in using move in from right to left and take the bounce off. We don't need that. And what we're going to do is move our basketball player up at the top of the animation stack. And then we're going to move our feed. There we go. And I think that is everything we need. Let's take a look and see how it looks. Basketball player comes in, signature and name, Twitter feed, and the text. And we're paying attention to that text as it comes in. It's being typed right in the feed. So just that simple, we created something that looks visually dynamic, it's very colorful, has some nice animation, very effective, short amount of time. You just have to plan out your elements, kind of know what you're doing in the animation pane, and you'll be impressing your clients in no time.